Hi, this is Katherine Dubberly, the answer lady. Sometimes when we make thick socks, we'd like them to be slipper socks, but it's risky to just walk around the house in plain old sock feet. They're slippery. Also, they create quite a lot of static electricity and you shock yourself. But today we'll deal with the slipperiness issue. There is a product called Regia Latex that makes the socks wonderfully slip proof and still washable. Let's have a look at working with that. As far as I know, Hirschner's Yarn Company is the only place to get Regia Latex in the U.S. It's the only place that I have found it. They sell along with it, but at an optional extra price, some little stencils that are very, very cute. I have found them rather difficult to use, and I personally do better drawing using the Regia Latex freehand, but the stencils are an option. Here you see me working on a tightly knitted worsted weight yarn, and for this I did not feel it necessary to line the sock before working. If you're working with finer things or looser things than this, you may want to cut a piece of cardboard or craft foam to insert inside the sock to prevent the latex from bleeding through. I have found that it's unlikely to bleed all the way through a um, worsted weight sock like this one. It's important to get a good contact between the latex product and the yarn. It needs to soak into the yarn a little bit. In the past, I have used scribble paints to do this exact same process. And the scribble paint is a little bit thicker and has a greater tendency to sit on the surface of the knitting. So you kind of have to work it in with more aggression. That's why this latex is an improvement. It's a little thinner and it soaks in with greater ease, though it doesn't soak all the way through very easily. And that soaking in means that your tread design will stay firmly on the sock fabric where you need it to be, providing safety over a long period of time. The design you make need not be fancy, but you should concentrate it in the areas where our feet actually hit the ground. That's the heels and the ball of the feet. And then randomly here and there, wherever you think that you might need it, or whether, wherever you need it for looks, but be especially sure that the places your foot really comes in contact with the floor are nicely embellished with the latex product. Also, make simple designs. Um, a plain old scribble or X's will work fine. Here I'm trying to make tiny hearts. I have also succeeded with hippie type daisies, the simplest, simplest flower outline filled in but trying to do something elaborate is almost impossible with this product. The manufacturer recommends that we use at least two coats of the product, possibly three or four, to get a good tread. So after it's soaked in and dried a little bit, go over the same areas very carefully a second time. And actually your second time is easier because you are writing now on the old latex not on the sock fabric. So it's not as tricky to redo as you might think. After the painting is all done, wait at least 24 hours before wearing or packing up the socks. Read the label and then use your experience to determine how long exactly, because it's going to vary with the conditions in your house and the thickness of the paint that you used. After it's all on there, the garments are washable. I wouldn't recommend a hot dryer, but it's a durable product. If you ever think the tread is getting a little bit skimpy, you can also recoat the same area when the socks are clean. So these are all dry and ready to be packed up. They're on their way to be a gift for a special person.